Shalom. What's the news and the update from uh, Ukraine? I think on the news you see the horrible uh, situation with the bombings, with attacks, especially in the east. Think about Mariupol, Kharkov, Chernigov. It's terrible to see. This is all the places where we over the years have been bringing uh, many Olim from these places, humanitarian aid, food parcel sponsorship. But the situation is like it is. And we as Christians for Israel, we reach out with a helping hand to the Jewish refugees. Now more and more they start to know us, they start how to find us. And uh, every day we have small and bigger groups coming uh, to our different shelters in the area of uh, Venitsa. Uh, we gather the people, they have something to eat, uh, they can spend the night, they can take a shower relax a little bit and then we take uh, we take the information from them and then we connect with the consul and with the jewish agency and maximum two nights uh, the jewish refugees stay in the different shelters m most of the time one night and from them with our own uh, buses transport we bring them to moldovian border and in moldova we have already 24 7 uh, three romanian buses ready and at, at two border crossings in Moldova, and then they bring further the Jewish refugees to uh, Kishinev or to Bucharest in Romania. On each bus, we have a courier uh, representing Christian for Israel, so we can talk with the people, relax a little bit, and the more we are uh, going towards uh, Kishinev or, Bu or Bucharest, the more the Jewish refugees feeling more relaxed. As you know, the men, they need to stay if they are between 80 and 60 years old. Only if you have three children, the man is allowed to go. But the man in general said, okay, if something happened, we can better protect ourselves. It's better that we can bring our wife and children in uh, safety. Uh, this, uh, we are right now uh, waiting for a new uh, bus. I'm in the Moldovian border now because I have been arranging the last two, three weeks transport in, in, in Moldova. I'm waiting now for the bus uh, to come here for 42 uh, new group of Jewish refugees to cross the border and we bring them to uh, Kishinev. I really want to thank you. What is the most important? Maybe you think, wow, what you are doing here, it's so important, it's, 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 it's not easy, it's, it's maybe not always safe. In one way, yes, but we always say, the policy of Christian for Israel, we always say we want to comfort and stand and be with the Jewish people in the good times and especially in the times of need. And especially we are here with all our team in the time of need, reaching out a helping hand and that we can comfort them, flee from the land of the north, fear not and help them to reach Eretz Israel. What in the end, what is the most important? What we're doing here? Maybe yes. What we feel is the most important what you are doing is your prayers, because your prayers is the fuel that we can continue this work. Without your prayers, it's without fuel, it will stop. But thanks to your faithful prayers, for protection, for our, for our team, uh, for, the, for the drivers, uh, for no breakdowns. Thanks to your prayers, it's the fuel that we can continue this important work in the Ukraine and this whole new Aliyah chapter we are in. We have a wonderful road from the, from the province of Venitsa towards the different borders. We call it a ha Aliyah Highway. We know that Pharaoh is breathing in our neck, but we also know he will not allow it to come closer and it will be still a free Aliyah Highway for the Jewish people to walk, to drive on, on their way to freedom, freedom flight to Eretz Israel. Thank you again for your support, also for your financial support. It's still needed. We expect much, many more Jewish refugees uh, to come in the near uh, time. And as long as it's needed, we will, we will continue to do what we have to do, and especially during these times of need.